Hey, welcome back. Let's take a look at how your organization can write better cyber policies and more effectively mitigate risk across your organization. This chart and these, this video series deep dives into a series of topics ranging from the kill chain process in uh, cyber attacks to defense in depth and the uh, consequence driven cyber informed process how to conduct engagements, and then on the other side, understanding your business process, pain points, storytelling for your customers, and understanding your funnel of fidelity for logging, monitoring, alerting, intelligence processing, uh, logical components to build a better cybersecurity program, uh, business analysis, uh, finding new solutions, and effectively storytelling. But let's dive into how to start from step one. So what we need to do, we have our business and we need to understand how the organization does security and how the business operates. You'll have logical controls. You'll have a policy control. You'll have a procedure control that should have scheduled procedures and event driven procedures. These are routine things. Your weekly meetings, monthly meetings, quarterly reviews, annual assessments. Event driven is when something happens that you don't know about and you go back to it, right? There is a cyber attack. There is a malicious, there is an anomaly. Those are events, right? New software, that's event. Old software, that's an event. Remediations and communicating internally and externally. Setting effective policies using this format to make it easy to understand. So where do we start? We go with preparation and then we categorize, we select, implement, assess and then authorize and monitor. So why would we need to do that? Let's zoom out here and let's look at defense in depth. So on this red line here, we've got a malicious cyber activity. Think about this. If you lock the door on your car, you're raising the deterrence factor for a malicious actor. You know that the car window could be broken, but locking the door is usually enough to deter and make that attacker abandon their efforts. Then we move to protection. We want to protect that data uh, and our assets and our customers, our privacy. We want to protect our business, uh, our prosperity, and we want to prevent for those who are more um, determined, right? We want to prevent their attack by effective logging, monitoring, alerting, then we want to make sure that we have the right detection measures, right? We're able to detect that a malicious actor is doing something in our network and our prevention failed that attack. And then what we want to do with detection is make sure that our organization has proactive, detective, and responsive actions and controls. What's a proactive a physical control? A fence. What's a detective? physical control, a camera. What's a responsive physical, or what's a responsive control? Something turns off or uh, an alert is then sent to a security operations center to respond on the control that has been violated. And then lastly, we need to have a plan to adapt. Understanding how the organization will adapt based on the uh, techniques, tactics, and procedures that were effective, right? We can ensure the longevity of the organization and continued performance into the future despite a cyber attack from a malicious actor. So let's come back. We've talked about all of these components of what we need to do. We need to establish a logical control, a policy control, procedures, how we'll remediate, and how our team will communicate both internally and externally. What you'll learn through this video series is that these tools permit internal communication about the status of a control and the historical context of how that control was developed, maintained, and implemented, and the work that's been performed on that. So if you're enjoying this content, like, comment, and follow along for more. Thanks.